Isn't the Moogle... <laughs> They're even. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest, and that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar, you say? Clive. So it would seem. That sounds... painful. Let's get this fixed before someone... Healed. Yes. Taya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Ironhome. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke, and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or... See my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? <sighs> what happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No. That's not true. I know you. You wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again. Not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night... The hooded man... He, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive? We should go back there. To Phoenix Gate. 
I need to know what really happened. And so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did... ...then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We've a long journey ahead of us. This fix before someone doesn't. We're looking at half a dozen. <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in? Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. just don't have enough teams to follow every lead. You! Newcomer! I need help! What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you, will you go and check? I have to know. All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps. But the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. <sighs> Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. It takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> no, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help.
back so soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Get this, Sammy. He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? I see I'm busy here. What do you want? Not bad, if I do say so myself. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Here we are. We better get this to... Jeffrey, was it? Mm, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running after the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. at half a dozen. Maybe more. Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. Will this be enough? This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to... That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Give for some wild Mickey berries. Can I help you? Kenneth sent me. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, 
which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. I think that's everyone. Must eat. I better let Kenneth know. I hate to be a burden. With a proper place to train. We're looking at half a dozen, maybe more. Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward, as promised. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. Someone's in trouble. It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Soil, then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? Thank <laughs> you. 
That should be enough. I'd better get it back to the hideaway. There you are. And all safe and sound. Oh, yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. Did you bring it? Uh, yes. Here. Glorious! When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it, too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. I wish I could offer you some fruit, too. But you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still. We'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. Fertilizer is complete. The furrows will need expanding. <laughs> what do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Off you go, then. I'm best of luck. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be. Clive, not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you with Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady? Ready.
Rosaria. It's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, is just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Rand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. But mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. Thanks to you. We should press on. That inn at the top of the hill must be Martha's Rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Look at the fusion. finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Oi! Stop. Here! You couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical. A bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. It was funny, late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. Here we are. Martha's rest. That's one of our branded. Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart's surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Sounds about right. He'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal greens? Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? 
And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. You barely have to step out your front door. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? leave him in the park. Nice work building the aqueduct. Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job, and he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. Very good to East Pope. Here's the gate. Then that must be the ladder. I 
don't care what your orders are, Brandon. You... Ah, get away from me! What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. There he is. Hold on, we're coming! Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Ah, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed. I hear the levies at you. Do you like that? Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They'd nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. <sighs> he can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. Get you a drink or anything while you wait. Flagon of imperial gold, perhaps. Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? have I. 
either to the legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late, so the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Ah, Thea! Congratulations on a new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. A boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favour and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey? Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The Abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. It was good, honest work. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Come and have a look. Don't be shy. Fresh cuts, fresh cuts. Get your fresh cuts. decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. Where's the Abbey? What darkness awaits us within, I wonder? Let's go and see. Don't let them get away!
Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation. From Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please, follow me. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Now their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. <laughs> 